The Sora Data NBA Lineup Builder is the most comprehensive free tool to help you build your best Sora NBA lineups. All of your cards are displayed on a single page and coupled with important information to help you make the best decisions for your lineups. And everything updates in real time to ensure you don't miss a thing. Users have the ability to choose any tournament in the upcoming game week, and all eligible cards are automatically shown. Now, let's dive into the data. Every player's current L10 is shown next to their highest projected fantasy points for a single game. And to make it easy to see who may outperform their projection, we have columns showing the raw difference between those two figures, as well as a ratio comparing the two. These columns are fully sortable, so you can see which players will overperform or underperform their projections from an actual point total, as well as who will do so compared to their L10. As we can see in this gallery, Luka Doncic's highest projection for the upcoming game week is 58, but his L10 is 67, which means he's projected to underperform his L10 by 9. And the ratio implies he's projected to score 0.86 fantasy points per one L10 point. But if we want to see which players will overperform the most, we can simply click on the differential header and see that Chris Middleton is projected to score 34 fantasy points on an L10 of 23, while Desmond Bain and Nikola Jokic are each projected to outscore theirs by 7. Clicking the ratio column will then show us that Middleton has the highest overperformance compared to his L10, followed by A.J. Griffin, who has a raw differential of 4 but a low L10 of 12, and Andrew Nemhart who is projected to outscore his L10 by 6. We also show a similar setup for minutes, as we have the player's average minutes played in each of their last 10 appearances next to their highest projected minutes for the upcoming game week. And joining those is the differential, helping Sora data members understand why a player could have a higher projection than their L10. And finally, we show how many games every player will have in the upcoming game week, as well as a breakdown showing the opponent, the projected fantasy points, and the projected minutes for each game. Let's dive into how the lineup builder actually works using Rare Champion. Selecting Luka Doncic removes him from the list of available cards and shows him as MVP, which means his L10 of 67 doesn't affect the cap. Adding Nikola Jokic next will reduce the remaining points from 120 to 67 because of his 53 L10. Given how much cap we use, let's use the differential and ratio columns to help us with the rest. As we see again, Chris Middleton is at the top, but you can also see that he has an injury designation, showing that he's been dealing with a knee injury. If we click on his name, and then to the news portion of his player page, we see that the latest news is that he did not play Monday and is still dealing with the problem. So instead, we can go next to Nemhard, which brings our available cap down to 48. If we want a cheaper player, we can sort by ratio and see AJ Griffin again, who costs only 12, and we now have 36 cap points remaining. One option now is to go back and see which players have L10s of 36 and below, or we can simply select the eligible players only toggle, which will automatically show us who can be selected based on the cap. As we see, Drew Holiday and Anthony Simons have the highest projections for the upcoming game week and both fit under the cap. With five remaining L10 points left, we can see if any players could be improved such as Griffin, who had 16 projected fantasy points on an L10 of 12, but we see that Romeo Langford actually has a slightly higher projection while still fitting under the L10 cap. Below the lineup is a total projected score, as well as a breakdown of the average fantasy points needed for each tier of prizes in previous game weeks. You can then save your lineup and select a new competition, which will start the process over without the players from the previous lineup build. Your save lineup is shown at the bottom of the page for future reference. And if we quickly build a rare contender lineup and save it, we can go back to the rare champion one and select the option to show picked players, which are those already in save lineups, to see if we want to adjust our first build with one of those cards. The Sora Data Lineup Builder is the most powerful free tool to help you make the best SoRare NBA lineups, and stay tuned for more because enhancements are on the way.